Anyways, game time. We've got uh, UCA Swiss boy spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Thor. The top of the map in the blue color playing as Thor is Bugs. The map is watering all, so these guys have seen the incoming Thor buffs and they're like, man, gotta get good with Thor, gotta get good with Thor. His, his armory upgrades are so cheap, man. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, but uh, in reality, they're still gonna suck with Thor because he is difficult god to be good with. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, uh, Dwarven gold mines getting thrown down. I, I think there was, did the, I think, I can't remember, but there was the buffs that I saw was extra gold in your um, classical age gold mine for the Dwarven gold. So if you've got like a terrible second gold mine, you can kind of just like save onto the Dwarven gold mine uh, and put that up and that's an extra 2,000 gold you can have in your base, which is really, really good for, uh, for Thor players. It means they can sort of, stick in their base, go to town center, and manage to like, basically manage to go fast Ragnarok off of two town centers without any worry of of a second gold mine. Which is, you know, this shouldn't be sneezed at. Like that's a legit strat you could use against say like Loki or something. Like fast two town center into um, like throwing Axemen into like a 12 minute, 13 minute Ragnarok or something like that. Um, would be very difficult for the Loki player to to win against, uh, which does really change the matchup quite significantly. Uh, so we'll see if it's an issue because it, it definitely it definitely could be. Oh, overlay. Thank you, my friend. Sorry about that one. Um, okay. So what are we going to see here? This is one of those interesting matchups. Whenever you see mirror matchups, um, some some are really boring because it's just like sit back and and just watch. Basically, both players do the same thing. But in Thor matchups like this, uh, there's kind of two options. You can be super aggressive with Ulfsark, or you can be like a really raid heavy with, with um, Rain Why are you leaving the Gazelle? Dude, I guess he wants to move forward and grab Hunt early so he has something to retreat back onto, but there's still two Gazelle here. Maybe he doesn't, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, moving forward. Uh, He's also got these rhinoceros here, so he is just legit, just wants to save the hunt for later. Temple going up in the middle of the map here, so Swiss Boy's going for the aggressive play. Matrius looking like he wants to stay stay calm here with his uh, with his temple back in his base. So maybe we're going to see uh, the Ulfsark pumping out here for uh, for Swiss Boy uh, in order to deal some some damage into uh, what Matrius is. The other thing you can do is you can you can put the buildings in the middle of the map. Make sure you wall off your base so you can't be raided, and then just go raid as yourself. All right, temple's up now. House coming through. Um, we don't see. Oh, we do see Freya coming through. So it's going to be that three or oh, four twenty four advance time from uh, from Matrius. Nice advance time there, uh, and oh, still no advance time here for Swiss player because he moved forward onto this hunt. Maybe a little bit behind. He's actually building out an extra dwarf as well. So that's five dwarves, five villages, and five and seven uh, foods. This is a super old Thor build. It's super economic, which is really weird why he built so far forward. He's going to be able to build up three longhouses straight away. Maybe he's going to use this as a distraction point. So sometimes you'll find players um, will see a temple in the middle of the map and they'll spend the time to destroy it and what swiss boy is potentially saying is hey you can kill this it's 80 gold 100 wood and i'm just using it as a as a time sink here and we are seeing dwarven armor coming up now for uh for matrius is this gonna is this gonna help him um the other thing you can do with with thor in this matchup which i didn't talk about is this dwarven armory thing get two long houses spam Ulfsark and get armory upgrades so you get out copper mail super early and you start attacking with Ulfsark flood uh, and it's really difficult for a, anybody to sort of deal with it especially once like maybe tier two upgrades come through um, so we'll see if that's a thing the armory is there it's not looking like a mattress is going to be going to the the heroic edge or anything so like the thor armor now he's going for raiding cavalry so 
forget everything I'm saying. We've got the uh, Longhouse coming up, Valkyrie here, and we do see four SETI for Swiss Boy. Super strange. Maybe four SETI, and you can get the Mythic Breastplate or whatever it's called for. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure if I like this at all. And he, oh, he's going for off suck. So it is. It is four SETI, and he's going off suck. He's going Mythic Breastplate at some point. Right? Mythic Breastplate gives you 10% hack armor, which is super useful. And he also needs to keep pumping out Hursa to deal with the uh, the Valkyrie. We're seeing all of the units flooding in right now. Mattress has got a huge advantage right now because he's already got his three longhouses up. And these guys are fighting here. You don't want to fight until your longhouses is up. Check out the population difference, 46 to 49. Swiss Boy is in an okay position here. He just needs to calm a little bit, not fight until he's got... Uh, enough units out and and then he'll be in a, in a good position moving over to this elephant and again this is something I was talking about you see the military buildings in the middle is Swiss boy just being like I'm advancing later I've got a little bit more wood than you I'm gonna just sacrifice some uh, some longhouse here and um, and keep spamming out my, my dudes but he is population blocked which is a little bit sad we got 55 population to uh, 65. So Matria is coming out a little bit ahead here. Definitely needs to get these things sorted out. And now we see Swiss Boy, not Swiss Boy, Matria being like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. I can't actually just kill these guys. Move forward, does manage to pick up an off there for free. And has he got armor upgrades just yet? Still not got anything. He's just pumping out the units. No real resources in the bank. Mm, he hasn't put the villages onto gold just yet. Uh, you, can, you kind of want to get... Well, maybe. He does have to have the villagers on food to get out throwing axemen to deal with the uh, Ulfsark spam from Swiss Boy. And if you get out enough of these throwing axemen, these, these Ulfsark just die like flies unless you have a good amount of upgrades. And we don't see an arm right here for Swiss Boy. So he's not going to be getting those anytime soon. Uh, also went for like three uh, three long houses and when he's doing Ulfsark, which is a little bit too much. When you think about it, you need three long houses to make three... Uh, lots of raiding cavalry and you can afford that but two longhouses uh, builds two Ulfsark by in, for one raiding cavalry and they cost about well and Ulfsark costs a little bit more so you don't really need that much more but he's building throwing axe now so that's going to be good have the throw the troll throwing his stones he should probably be trying to build out well his temples die I was going to say he should probably try and build out more of those trolls and now this fight's going to be really really big you see oh he started fighting while he was making his um, medium infantry upgrades there you want to fight just as they finish researching and unfortunately did not manage to do that and he has to retreat a little bit here so Swiss boy is still going to be okay in this game to continue. He's actually managed to deal with that aggression quite nicely. Now he's to throw up a temple and get out those trolls. Those trolls are gonna be a really, really important uh, aspect of this of this four seti Loki, oh sorry, four seti Thor army. And he's just gonna be chilling on this. And it, it is important that he has this uh, healing spring here as well. Where's he going with these off suck? Are you gonna try and surround or something? Maybe, not sure. Oh, excuse me, a little bit tired. All right, uh, looks like he's just trying to defend his uh, food villages here, but all of Matrius' Mat 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 army is just chilling here, taking down houses and the like. And we're seeing a little bit of the surround is coming in now. Still have two uh, two longhouses here. It's, it's actually Swiss Boy who has the small advantage at this point. Can actually fight this if he had his army in a decent position but he's got some units in the back here just super out of position and nice uh s nice control of the army there in order to uh, to really hurt that and now he's just like not so he's probably not quite controlling his army well enough and it's just looking like matrius is probably going to take this fight i uh, definitely need to get that hersa to run around the back and try and pick off that troll troll does so much damage as well if you can just target those uh throwing axemen the axemen that have the least well the units that have the least basically the units that have the least pierce armor is what you want to use the troll for it's one of the few norse units that deal pierce damage and he is meaning like Swiss boy has managed to come in here. Matrius uses the uh, forest fire. That's actually huge, and that's going to force uh, Swiss boy out of there. That's a lot of damage onto his units there. And finally, that troll has got a Hursa attacking him, almost picking him off. But you can get that troll over onto this uh, onto this 
uh, um, healing spree, maybe, keep him alive. <coughs> oh, unfortunately he didn't do the little micro trick to get him onto the other side and does. No, I just pick off that troll. Now we're going for a, a, a little bit of wood in the bank. Probably not enough in order to, to, uh, to get those trolls out. So, doesn't really need the temple back up. He's managing to pick off a bunch of those those uh, throwing axemen and he's moving in. He's going to be able to pick off the Falkyrie as well as enough of these human units to pick that guy off in uh, Ulf Sarg. Just going to be retreating at this point. Now we're back onto the, uh, onto the uh, healing spring here. Just chilling, doing their thing. Gatherer is moving up onto the giraffe at this point. Looking like they're going to Gonna feel good. Gonna feel good on those giraffe. House coming up for Matrius. And that's good. Alrighty. Ulf Sark. You got the fourth fourth longhouse up as well. Only three longhouses here. 90 to 101 population. Move forward. I think you can start fighting this one now. What you need to do is like pick off those throwing axemen with your throwing axemen. You're okay. But it is looking like we're okay here for Matrius as well. This is kind of all going to come down to who gets to the uh, heroic age first, right? If you get to the heroic age, another temple coming up for Matrius. If you get to the heroic age, uh, you can just cast flaming weapons and, and win. <laughs> and, and win a huge fight. Seeing the temple coming up, but. Is he? I mean, he is just gonna stop building it, start attacking these guys. Nice little micro there, but all those uh, all sucks to die anyways. Maybe it would have been better to just run them in and start fighting. But uh, again, it looks like Matrius is just taking the trades in a in a decent fashion here. Picking off so much of Swiss Boy's army, and he's just pumping units out at this point. Now he's got the all suck. Now he's got the right idea, trying to pick off these. Uh, He's throwing axemen, and he is managing to pick up a lot of them at this point. There's not enough throwing axemen here to kill the throwing axemen and the Ulfsar. But there are so many Valkyrie here, and he needs to stop building this Ulfsar and start building uh, Ursa. This is one of those really smart things you can do as Norse against Norse, is just put in, spend your favor, basically. And now we see Temple coming up. If Swiss Boy had had out, like, his, what is this, 100 favor, or he's got, not 100 favor, Yes, 100 favor worth of troll and hammer troll. So that's like 14, uh, something like 7 trolls or 8 trolls and hammer troll. That doesn't seem right. Maybe maybe 7 is, oh, it must be 6 and hammer troll. Uh, then he would be able to pick up these this army so easily. Like trolls, trolls, trolls just completely demolish this army here. So let's see if he does decide to do that. He's, he's going to be building out a Hursa, but Hursa will just get instantly deleted by these throwing axemen. Oh, look at those upgrades as well for, for Matrius. Really smart here. He's already on uh, he's already on bronze weapons, and he's looking to grab his copper shields. He needs to get copper shields to deal with the, uh, the trolls, but it's not going to help him that much. See the throwing axemen retreating here. These shield maiden Valkyries are running around. Could possibly push through this wall. There is dwarves over here, but it's not going to be all too much. And are we seeing we're seeing Scotty somehow? Somehow Swiss boy has not been able to get to the next age. Somehow uh, Matrius has spent um, what's that? 1,400 food on Valkyries here, and he's still able to advance faster. Then Swiss boy to that next age. So this is huge. These shield metal Valkyries are trying to run through. Luckily for um, Swiss boy, he's probably not going to lose too many villages from this. He's not paying attention here. These Valkyries is going to be able to pick off these villages very very quickly. But also Swiss boy, or oh, Matrius, not paying attention too well there. He does pick off one, but there's nothing over here. He's going to be searching around. Sees one gold mine. Sees the the uh, gazelle. She realize there's nothing over there already. Matrius has hit the next age and does decide to cast Frost. Can now pick off this settlement and then potentially grab his own. Uh, also can put up a, uh, start building those Frost Giants as well, which are incredibly strong units. The Hursa chasing him around, does he have? He doesn't, doesn't have Hall of Fanes. 
Uh, he does need it in order to deal with this. And these are these and these Valkyries are so strong. You try to pick up that ox card in order to just be a little bit of a pain, but he can just move these villages over to this ox card as well. So it's not going to be too big of a deal. It's like the shield. Oh, he's found the dwarf running to the gold mine. That's what you want. You know it's over here, and he's going to be moving into it. Uh, there are a few. There is a a Hursa here. I wonder if all the all five of these Valkyries can pick off this Hursa before one Hursa picks off a Valkyrie. Looks like it is going to be the case. Picks off the rest of these units and then he just runs to that gold mine and that's going to be super tough for Swiss Boy and Swiss Boy does the side tap out. GG, well played there by Matrius. The, uh, simply just building myth units in this matchup is super important. So had Swiss Boy got his trolls out, he wouldn't have had to build out so many old sucks, which means he would have had more uh, more food, which means he would be able to get to the heroic age. Same thing for uh, Mattress, because he built the, the Valkyries. He didn't have to build any Ulsark. It's about the same cost. What are they? Three population or four population? Four population, so they're a little bit more expensive, right? But he still still managed to lose less units. Check out the kill loss. Boom, 101 to 65. So this is all army control and lack of myth units here. Anyways, GG, well played by, uh, by Matrius. We'll see if they want to keep playing.